Guys, I've got to see this. Dave, Lola, get down to Wastebusters headquarters right away. Lloyd, this better be good. Yeah, dude. What could be so important that you drag us down here at the crack of dawn? Emissions. We have to come up with some ideas to help people learn about Connecticut's anti-idling law. In many states, including Connecticut, it's illegal to idle your car for more than three minutes. Today on Wastebusters, Lloyd, Dave, and Lola will test two idling myths. Let's get to one. Idling your car doesn't waste much fuel, right? Uh, wrong, Dave. Idling your car for 30 seconds wastes more fuel than turning it on and then turning it off again. What? With today's economy, who'd want to waste fuel? I got an idea. Let's see if idling your car wastes fuel or not. Yeah, let's test that myth. Let's see if the Waste Busters can bag this myth. First, they connect bags of gasoline to their cars. Lloyd and Dave time how long it will take to burn that fuel by idling. At the same time, Lola will find out how much gas is used with her car turned off. Time! Let's compare the results. After one hour of idling, Lloyd and Dave's car burned a fifth of a gallon of gas. Lola wins. Shutting off her car saved fuel. There are 2.3 million passenger vehicles in Connecticut. If every Connecticut driver were to idle five minutes less each day, tens of millions of dollars in fuel would be saved each year. That's a lot of cheddar, Jack. Idling your car doesn't create much pollution, does it? I'm not so sure about that, Lloyd. Burning just one gallon of gasoline produces about 20 pounds of air pollutants. Only one way to find out. Let's test that myth. Let's watch while the Waste Busters exhaust this myth. Lloyd and Dave measure the emissions from their idling car's tailpipe. Lola does the same with her car turned off. Time! Let's check out the results. Lloyd and Dave's car produced emissions which pollute our environment. Lola wins again. Shutting off her car created zero emissions. If every Connecticut driver were to idle five minutes less each day, over 140,000 tons of greenhouse gases and toxic emissions would be prevented from entering the air each year the equivalent of taking 23,000 cars off the road. That's a lot of breathing room. Aww. Hey, you guys are pretty smart, aren't you? At least one of us. How many miles per gallon does an idling car get? That's easy. Zero. The results are in. Shutting your car off saves fuel and protects the environment. Thanks to Dave, Lola, and Lloyd, these idling myths have been busted. 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 Definitely busted. Thanks for watching Waste Busters. For more information on Connecticut's idling laws, visit the DEP website at ct.gov slash DEP slash idling is foolish.